as a head coach, you wear a lot of hats. It is your main challenge right now trying to keep these guys from getting too down because they've done everything you've asked them to do? I mean, even going back from last night to tonight, the improvements you made in so many areas and just to fall short and not get rewarded with wins. Is that, is that a challenge for you right now, just to keep them level-headed and not get too down? You know, it, it definitely, um, it definitely it can be a challenge, but not with this group. These guys are together. They understand big picture. Uh, they understand that we're trying to build a program here. And I've spoken about it to them in the locker room, but even here, we have to go through it. It's the only way. It's the only choice. Um, but adversity builds character, and we're building right now. These same losses that we're having, we're going to win some of these games in the next couple of weeks, three weeks, month down the line, and it's, it's going to help us build as a, as a team. The assist totals went to 30. You talked about it. That needed to go up. You shot free throws better. You rebounded. The turnovers remain the same. You're doing so many good things. Um, but I'd like you to talk about what your bench did tonight. You got up to 30 points bench. That's tops uh, this season, how they had to contribute. And with no Ingram, you had to make up the scoring, and they were able to do that. Yeah, our bench was huge. Every Everyone that stepped on the floor contributed to tonight's effort. Um, once again, Graf, we, we fell short. However, we it's not necessarily just wins and losses for us. It's, it's wins and it's the opportunity to learn. And we're learning from every single game. I still feel in my heart that we're getting better and things will turn around. Our, our guys are staying upbeat. It's tough. It's tough in, in the league to win a game. But we're fighting. When we're right there, we're knocking on the door. You just mentioned you, you have conversations with the team about looking at the big picture. Just, you know, what are some of the things you're, you're telling the team or you guys are, are talking about, you know, with just taking the long view in mind? The biggest thing is that we have to continue to put ourselves in a position to win games. And the last five games, we've done that. Four or five games, we've done that, where it comes down to the end and we have an opportunity to win the game. It's because we play hard, we play together, we, we move the ball, we just continue to play the right way, and we trust it. So that's big picture for us. Eventually, we're going to win those same games that you know we, we're having some losses in right now. And, and with uh, New York's shot making from the perimeter tonight, is that something you just have to tip your hat? Is there something you guys could have done better defensively in this game? You know, they're, they're a good shooting team, uh, of course. We, we go back and look at tape, and we'll look at everything, and probably look at it and say, yeah, we could, we could have contested some more shots. We could have got out to guys, but the fact of the matter is we had an opportunity down the stretch um, to win the game and we got to continue to make plays, continue to believe in it. And once again, I'm proud of our guys. They fought, they don't give up. Uh, and we'll, we'll continue to look at it and turn things around. Yeah. One times are getting tough like this. What type of characteristics do you need in the locker room to make sure your team stays together? We have, Extremely high character guys in the locker room. Garrett, uh, Josh, B.I., uh, Sato, Billy. Uh, I can go down the line. Jonas. And our guys are not hanging their heads. They understand. This is where we are. No one's going to feel sorry for us. We're going to dig our way out of it. But we're going to do it together. And that's the deal. That's where we are. It, it's no excuses. Um, I love what we're doing. We're going to dig out of it together. You said uh, B.I.'s pain kind of popped up this morning, but do you have any idea about his status, you know, going into, into the road trip? Not right now, I don't. Um, as soon as we do, we'll, we'll let you guys know. Coach Kyra came in and added 12 points off the bench. What did you like about the spark that he brought to the team today? I loved his aggressiveness, um, just his awareness of when to attack, when to get guys involved. Uh, he's so fast that when he kicks the ball up and gets it back, it's just hard to stop him. That's the player he has to be for us. Uh, I spoke to him a little bit before we went out and just told him, you got to be a, extremely aggressive. And aggressive is not just scoring. It's just attacking, looking for your teammates. If you have an opportunity to score, you score. Proud of him. Willie, uh, Julius Randle and uh, Herb Jones went toe-to-toe -to -toe tonight, especially <laughs> when you look at the stat line. Um, what does that say about your rookie? Because he went up against you know, a guy that made all second uh, NBA selection last year. It says a ton about him. Uh, We've been talking about Herb since he got here, and 
those are some of the things that excites us as an organization. Uh, credit to Griff and Trajan and their, their, their whole crew and staff for identifying Herb. And fortunately for us, he was there during that pick so we could get him. But it was a collective effort. Herb led the charge, but it was a collective effort tonight. Julius Randle is a low. He is tough. And he gives every team fits. Our guys just fought him, and we did it once again collectively as a team. Chris, I got another one for you. You played, I think, for the first time tonight, Tyra Lewis and Devontae Graham together. What went into that decision? How do you think they fared out there? That decision came from just talking with the coaching staff, uh, Mike D'Antoni as well. And look, we, we'll look at adjustments, look at what we can do better, but not having Brandon, uh, not having uh, Garrett tonight, not having uh, Z right now, we, we got to look at all, every lineup and, and see what works. One thing that Kyra does is he puts a ton of pressure on the rim with his with his force and with his speed, and it opens up the, the door for shooters. Um, so we just wanted to see what it looked like, and I thought it was okay. All right, thank you, guys.